Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with the Attack on Titan the final season episode number 11. All right, the previous episode um things are not looking so well. Uh the whole situation with uh Historia, I am really not sure what to feel about that. Uh that and then we kind of saw the past what happened, why Eren kind of changed and now like Eren is doing things that he wants to do he is like being imprisoned kind of and because he took things uh, in his own hands and <clears throat> like like truthfully speaking i'm not sure what what to feel <laughs> you know like i kind of get it that Eren is most probably doing this so that in the long run things can be okay like he is looking at the long run which is kind of making things worse currently so you know this is like that question like will you save <clears throat> one person and sacrifice uh, like a million or will you sacrifice one person and uh, save uh, a million something like this like it's kind of like that you know like looking at the wrong long run he's doing stuff but it's kind of you know destroying stuff that is uh, currently happening so that and <clears throat> like the whole historia situation and uh, the whole thing with um, like i don't know like zeke's plan and like <laughs> confusion and a lot of you know uh, like mixed emotions i have about this but anyways um, that and <clears throat> we also like in the in in the end we kind of saw like eren uh, like in his like cell and they kind of showed us Zeke's perspective in the whole situation Zeke was like all like you know sitting down and in front of a campfire and I don't know what he is actually thinking is he really you know thinking about uh, everyone and like doing everything for the betterment of them or is it some kind of his plan like I still do not <clears throat> you know trust Zeke fully but let's see time will tell what uh, is what will actually happen but anyways so yeah guys and without further ado let's get started with attack on titan the final season episode number 11 all right i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here say good to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three <clears throat> two one go oh wait <clears throat> what the What's happening? Oh my god, they have enough problems and like Gabi can't. Oh great. Wow. Ugh. So, like, what what will you do then? Oh yeah, Reiner is uh, oh boy. Okay, poor Quent. <clears throat> oh, oh great. You know, they have enough problems uh, by themselves, like Eren and all of them. And <clears throat> like that included with like the Gabi situation is not, you know, like it's making it even worse. Like now I'm, I'm I don't know, like they're probably trying to run away from this place. And obviously they'll fail because there is a, like they're in an island. So how the hell are they even going to get out? But thankfully like there's no titans here like all of the titans were killed so there's no like um threat but i don't know like <clears throat> now i'm thinking like zeke kind of deflected from the whole marlian plan so what is reiner going to do now you know 
like Reiner, Peak, and um, Porco, and Magath, uh, Captain Magath as well, like all of them, the Marlins. Who knows? All right, Deceiver. Okay, Deceiver. Okay, that's a. Uh... Mm, yeah. We get answers from Wait, she's not planning to run away? What the hell? Then why did she run? Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, calm down. Oh God, there's nothing as good or bad, you know, everyone is messed up in this world in some way. Oh, who the? Um, Gabi, come on, like, oh my god, this guy, this girl is also like, damn, what's with the eyes, you know, the way they look at each other is, <laughs> okay, Okay, I'm having a bad feeling about this place, you know. Okay, um... Am I freaking out too much or is something going to happen here? Southern Marlin accent. Uh. Oh, I did not recognize him before. Sasha's p family, the person she killed. what like you know the fate is cruel why are they looking at them like that like what's with their faces they're looking like, you know? Okay, they're here. <laughs> World's most dangerous island. First flying boat. Oh, okay.
Oh, they are breaking up, you know, into two teams. Ah. Mm. Who are these? The flush is also here. Oh. New Elden Empire. Yeah, like, you know, there are people who are thinking like, oh my god, okay, it's like he is having, you know, a, a few people who are supporting him wholeheartedly. Oh no. You know, they are, you know, they are extremely weak compared to the whole world. And they're also breaking up within it into two teams. Wait, what? That's a shame. What? <clears throat> Who? Who is this? Do we know her? Oh. Oh, she's one of them. Them. Okay. Oh yeah, okay, okay, I remember her. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, like she wants the best for N, but that is the reason why she is, you know, like making it as if she wants Aaron to be imprisoned. What? What's happening? What? What's happening? Okay, I'll, I'll like check that out later on. Open the syllabus.
Oh, so what the? Oh, this is uh, Gabi and. <laughs> oh my God! Oh. <laughs> the horse is happy. Hmm, okay. Who will even help them? Oh, okay. Yeah. He's, you know, he also kind of leaked everything to Aaron, so he... <laughs> Oh, oh, is that so? Come on, Gabby, keep quiet. Oh, God. <sighs> Gabi, come on, like, oh my god, this girl. Oh! Oh! Eh. Well, she knows. I, I knew it, like, she suspected something. Oh my god, they knew from the first beginning. <laughs> oh my god, Gabi, calm down. I I'm sure she's... Uh, yeah, I knew it. She was going to get some weapon or something. Someone please restrain this girl. Please. Come on. <sighs> oh this is that girl uh, who sasha saved you know when the titan was eating her mom oh so many people like are coming back Yeah. That is not there. Oh my god. Come on, Gabby. Try to understand. Oh. The brainwashing is too deep, you know.
Yeah, like, why are they, like, suffering then? Sins of your ancestors? Yeah, what about that, huh? What about all the people in the Shingashima district? Who Reiner and all of them killed? Like, what about that? Exactly. Like, she needed a wake-up call. Like, she was... Yeah, oh god. Exactly, you were just born there. Like, I, I really hope Gavi understands this, you know, statement. You were just born there. Sasha. Like, just think about it. This is the... Oh, the... Oh. Oh. Exactly, that is the correct way, you know, without going to, like into the whole revenge business. Like just try to become the person who is good. So like if everyone followed this example, there would be no like the cycle of hatred and everything that happens. That would be, would have been ended long time before. Like, you know, this, like, this is just, what is happening now is like one person is killing another and the, you know, the family members or the loved ones of that person is killing the other person and this is continuing. And this won't end until and unless everyone dies. Like, that's not a solution. <sighs> like, I get it. Like, this is the way the Marlians, you know, kind of brainwash them. Like, that's why the whole thing of like yeah the like our ancestors are bad the eldians are bad like, this kind of things has been you know kind of being injected into their brains so this is difficult oh this is still something oh not enough okay are they going to suspect something yeah Oh. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Great. You know, Reiner kind of was in the same situation before. Six months. Yeah, the whole thing with Gavi and Falco. Okay. And yeah, they have Zeke also.
Ya. Ya. Yeah, that is, he's kind of correct, you know, Reiner. All right, uh, that's the end. Okay, you know, one thing, like, <laughs> the funny thing here is, uh, Porco, uh, when he says that, so we've been working with a traitor for so long, you know, they kind of showed us uh, Reiner's face. The funny thing is, Reiner was in the same situation before. He also... Like, I'm sure that reminded himself of him, like when he like worked with, you know, Eren and the Survey Corps, like they were also in the same situation. Reiner and uh, Berthold and Annie were kind of the traitors. So like they also faced the same situation, like they kind of worked with traitors and got, you know, uh, like paid consequences for that. Similarly, like the same situation happened here. Oh my god, like, I, I don't, I really am, you know, unable to understand, like, when did Zeke start this plan? Like, when did he start making this plan? Like, uh, working with the Marlians until a point where he would suddenly, you know, betray them and, uh, like, like, deflect to the Paris island, like, to the Eldians. I'm just thinking like and why did he even do this you know like he was the one person who handed over his mom and dad who were like you know kind of the alien as they said like the restorists I think they're called the restorists or something I can't remember the actual term they use but anyways um, like his mom and dad were you know uh, like working for the Paris island like they were kind of like the uh, rebels so then if he really had this plan, uh, I'm sure this plan was something that he thought out later, you know, because he himself was the one who handed over his mom and dad to the Marlins. So I'm guessing after that, something must have happened which changed his mind or something. I don't know. Or maybe it, this is also part of his plan. Like, who knows? Like, Zeke is a man of many mysteries. And I'm still not sure, like, I'm, I'm still not uh, unable to, you know, judge whether... He really is, uh, you know, what he is, like, he really uh, is planning what he is telling everyone. Or maybe he has some other plan. He might be deceiving them or something. Like, who knows? Anyways. Okay, so. Excuse me. Uh, just a sec, guys. Let me just check one thing. Okay, guys, here it is. Um, the information that is available for public disclosure. Paris Island Devils, an insult referring to King Fritz and the Eldians who fled to Paris Island. In Staten Studies, the Paris Island Threat Theory claims that Eldians who fled there still bear a grudge from the Great Titan War and despise the rest of the world. With the threat of a Yeganau parent, the insult holds truer than ever. Okay, this is something that we knew. Mm. All right, so this episode, this was kind of, uh, you know, uh, like hard episode to swallow, you know, the whole thing with Gabi uh, and uh, like uh, the thing with uh, Sasha's, uh, I'm guessing like, uh, I'm guessing the guy was, yeah, he was Sasha's dad. Okay, like I did not recognize him before, but when this like said that this is the browse stables, like I like connected the dots and thought that oh this is uh, like Sasha's dad. So I'm like so the only person who knows that uh, they are Marlians is that girl, uh, the blonde girl. Mm, so and now here's the thing. Like I understand like what is the actual problem with Gabi because like they have been told the same thing from their childhood. Uh, it has been, you know, kind of injected in them that, yeah, we like the our ancestors, the Eldians, they were bad people. They were devils. They like uh, kind of destroyed all the Marlians, like, uh, uh, like, you know, uh, made them suffer as like she was saying that uh, like 
what did she like she treated them like the titans treated us as, as cattle and everything you know uh, this was this information was disclosed in the previous season when like you know when there was like showing the whole past with eden's dad and like grisha's past and there was this like teachings in the books that they used to read like it was written there you know the whole thing with uh, ymir and uh, like uh, and uh, like the titans who uh, all of those things like that is the thing that gabi is telling here like they treated the marlians extremely badly and after they like lost the, the titan war they like went to the paradise island and uh, like all of these kind of things and everyone is still living in fear of them so they are the bad people they are like uh, the people who are uh, the evil the devils so these have been uh, treat like taught to her like by uh, from her childhood and like also i'm sure the malians say this that we are like you know the malians also say that we are having you know pity on you people even though you are eldians we're letting you stay with us we are so good look at us we are uh, having pity on you and like letting you uh, still be with us so like you have to do what we tell you to do and all of these stuff so she like you know sh like she and each and every eldian kid they have this bad type of uh what can i say like uh like thinking about their own position like they think that they are extremely like bad you know they are extremely bad because of their ancestors they are at a, you know extremely low position but the marlians the great also great marlians they are like so kind hearted that they're letting them stay with them so we have to you know do something so that uh, the marlians will be happy like they have this kind of a mental mentality because from the childhood they were they're being taught this like so the, we have to do something good for them like we have to become uh, like uh, honorary marlians how do we do that we can like fight for them and we are also warrior candidates we can inherit the titan sacrifice our lives and become the more honorary marlians and then you know like uh, bring uh, pride and like uh, become the prideful uh, uh, whatever like like their thought process is like this on the other hand the eldians uh, has been taught completely the opposite the whole thing with that are actually ymir and uh, the whole thing with the queen fritz and everything that happened that was something that they did voluntarily they came back like to, they came to the paris island so that no more killings happen they you know erected the walls and said that if you guys attack us we'll like destroy the whole world which was kind of an empty threat because king fritz didn't have any intention to do that uh, like do the whole thing and because of that the like the uh, blood the royal blood whenever it, like uh, the founder titan inherits the royal blood the whole thing with yemir's like uh, fritz memory comes into their mind and they become kind of you know passive and do not want to wage war the whole thing with the, like this is the attack on titan season uh, like the previous season's plot so like this is the whole situation like everyone has their own way of thinking like each and every person thinks that they are on the good side but like in my opinion uh, people who are being manipulated are uh, gabi and falco falco the most because the, in some way the marlians are kind of manipulating them so i'm really not sure like who is in the correct or who is in the wrong or whether there is any correct or uh, incorrect in this whole situation like everyone is somehow you know at fault in some way so like you cannot point your finger in this like at, in this anime at least like you cannot point the finger to a single person or a group of people you cannot do that because like everyone has some kind of a fault so like everyone has you know done something which is not good not correct uh anyways uh, and yeah and um like gabi needs to realize this like she needs to realize that the way she suffered the way her family suffered the way her friends suffered the people here has also suffered like that like she is no exception she is not the tragic you know the tragic person of this whole world who has uh, like single handed like single handedly suffered all the suffering in this whole world like she is not that person like there are a lot of people like her and there are a lot of people who has even worse than her like then she had suffered i'm sure there are she has to realize this 
So like which is quite difficult because she has been kind of you know um, told from her childhood that yeah like uh, aliens are bad they're devils and all of these stuff so like that preconceived notion is interfering uh, in her like you know like she is unable to judge people because of that like that thing is always interfering with her judgment because you know in the end she uh, like when the girl said that like told about her you know uh, sad past about how like Sasha saved her and like her mom was being eaten and stuff like that uh, when she said she even said that that yeah like they like the people were only born here like the ancestors did it we still don't know whether the ancestor did it or not even if they did something bad like that that's not their fault you know that's their ancestors so like like so did my mom do something bad did like we do something bad no we didn't do it so why do we have to suffer like that is the question and i'm sure like that is the one thing that gab gabi needs to realize you know the people who are living here they are not at fault the people at fault are either dead or are in the you know higher you know higher echelons of whatever <laughs> so yeah and i'm st i'm st still sure that gabi st has not realized it properly like he kind of got a realization he kind of got you know extremely like rattled at the whole situation when the girl was like uh, asking her that what have we done wrong like, what has my mom done wrong he kind of got confused at that and but still I, i'm sure like she has she has not properly realized about this and because in the end she also said like uh like told falco that why do you, why are you saying this these are like you know uh, top secret military secrets <laughs> all of those kind of things so i don't know like what she'll do now i'm guessing she'll go back with uh the girl to the uh to the stables back to the stables and live with them because yeah like what else will they even do but i'm thinking like w are they going to realize at some point that yeah the person who are taking care of us the people who are taking care of us is the you know the parents are the parents and the loved ones of the person that i killed like will gabby realize it somehow i'm not sure because obviously she herself did not know sasha personally like she, I, I doubt she even knows sasha's name so i don't think she will realize that maybe oh maybe like if there's some kind of you know uh portrait or some kind of a picture of sasha in their house somewhere maybe if she looks at it she might realize that oh like this is that person and then maybe she might ask them that who is this you know who is this person they might tell them that yeah this is that person who saved me who's uh, like the sasha blouse the uh, like the the daughter of the people here and the person who saved me from that titan maybe yeah, like something like that might happen and she might realize because uh, I, I, like I'm really curious as to what she will think when she realizes that oh, that the people who are taking care of him of his, uh, like her and Ga, like Falco like they are you know the parents and uh, of the person that I killed and I'm really curious as to how she will react to that yeah and um okay another thing that happened in this episode that was the whole thing with Eren. like so what's happening like is it you know like is two factions forming uh the whole like there's like one faction who is thinking that yeah Eren did everything correctly he should be freed and uh then there's this whole like hunches like people hunches faction who are you know restraining Eren because of his reckless behavior um i think so like like uh, like they are kind of weak in front of the whole world like the whole world has a lot of power and at this like like within that they're kind of dividing their forces like that is <laughs> like not good you know and uh, so another person we met in this episode was that girl who Mikasa saved. I didn't even notice. Like she was from season one. She kind of changed, you know, uh, obviously because she has grown up now. And uh, like, <clears throat> so she, uh, like, 
and she asked a question to miss mikasa like if you like if you're doing this for eden why are you guys restraining her now the question the answer for that is because obviously mikasa is doing it for eden and she wants you know eden to be safe but the things that eden is doing eden is, eden is you know doing is not something that will keep him safe and so that's also the reason why uh, like that is the reason why that uh, mikasa is thinking that oh like eren is restrained now like that's uh, like all for his like you know benefit like everything like no one wants you know no one wants anything bad to happen to happen to eren but eren is kind of reckless now you know in the reckless mode so like who knows if eren is you know let out like if eren comes out of the prison what he will do next like oh <laughs> my god uh oh and also another thing uh, like what was that flashback that mikasa had just a sec there was this whole flashback that mikasa suddenly had like oh, okay there was like some kind of a trigger that kind of made her have that flashback what was that just a sec so something that girl said oh uh the salute oh is this hand <laughs> sorry the salute seeing that salute she suddenly you know starts remembering something the uh, incident with eren like and the robbers like when eren killed the robbers and then and eren is saying that you're safe now mikasa oh okay oh, like what was that like like obviously like in this incident is something that she remembers you know this is the incident that kind of made her you know so affectionate towards eren and like whole thing with her family so like this is not something that she forgot like you know usually in animes these kind of stuff happens and they you know starts remembering stuff from the past so this is not something like that because obviously mikasa remembers this so why did suddenly flashback started happening in her head I don't know. Yeah. And All right, that and also like I was a little bit surprised at all of the other people taking Eren's side, you know? Uh the people uh from the like uh there's this guy uh I forgot his name. The guy who whose dad was killed in the season in season 1, you know? Uh, uh who was a traitor or something i cannot remember who kind of you know stood up on his own later on and hanji kind of helped him that guy and there's this reporter as well who we also saw i think in season two or season one i cannot remember uh like all of these people they're taking eren's side like i was a little bit surprised at that you know why because they have been helped by hanji before this so them suddenly taking eren's side and not taking hanji's side uh, was kind of you know surprising to me but obviously like uh, f like in their eyes Eren is doing something that uh, will help them help all the Eldians and like Hanji is the person who is imprisoning him for the thing that he did so I think in that way they are taking Eren's side because of that reason and yeah that's that was it and also another thing um the girl the blonde girl uh who knew that they're marleans uh like she knows that uh falco and uh gabi are marleans i doubt she told this to like you know the other people now my question is how will they react if they get to know that they're marleans like i'm i think they're you know they're uh, the parents the sasha's mom and dad will probably take it well like uh, she they won't freak out or something but my question is the other people you know all of the other orphans like how will they take because technically the marlins are the reason for them becoming orphans you know they are the kind of the reason so they will obviously have that grudge and obviously she should also ha have that gr grudge you know because as falco said that it was like a testing that they did and the whole thing with the, the whole incident in Shinhan Shina and their like you know village getting destroyed that was like a test that they did for the attack later on to happen 
now so that means because of their little experiment her mom died so she should also have that grudge but she like she, like she knows that revenge doesn't bring anything so that's why she decided to keep that grudge within herself not act on it obviously like i'm sure like she will continue hating the people who did this but gabi did not do it neither did falco so like that was her point like you guys have not done anything so why should i have a grudge on you like that was what he, she was trying to say which gabi doesn't understand at all so like in that way she is kind of you know i'm sure like she will keep this grudge within herself until the day she dies she will have this kind of a regret have this kind of a thing but she will only keep it within her heart she won't act on it like that's the important thing and obviously like uh like gabi falco did nothing uh, like like at least uh, like they didn't do anything to her mom like the whole thing with the uh, shiganshima district everything they were like the reason for that was something else so like they're not at fault so why should they suffer because of that so yeah <laughs> like you know like your ancestors doing stuff and you being held responsible for that <laughs> how does that feel <laughs> great uh. like <sighs> Like this went in an extremely wrong direction like it has started snowballing and the snowball has become so big you know that it won't stop now like unless and until everything gets destroyed like as far as i, I can like envision the future in this anime like what will happen after this like everything will be destroyed the way this is going like each and every person is you know kind of rushing to their deaths and like for what for nothing Obviously, the Marlins have a reason they want the resources. <laughs> Great. But, oh God. <laughs> uh, Great. And also, another thing I really... Uh, okay, the whole thing with Pixis and Yelena talking. Like... Ooh, uh, okay, so... Like this portion, I really did not pay attention. Uh, let's just let's just you know uh, look at that portion again. Um, so here's the portion. Ten months ago, there was an opening celebration for the Trost Railway. Ten months, okay. The guard watching you suddenly changed. Oh, to look for. Okay, while the party was in full swing, Flock escorted you to your lodgings. A man currently detained for leaking info. All right. Furthermore, your lodgings were a few dozen kilometers from Aaron's home. Oh, it just so happens that around this time, Aaron became moving on. Oh, this is a big thing. I, I really did not uh, notice this before. So by the thing that pixis is telling her that means uh, you know that the whole thing that i was talking about in the previous episode why did Aaron change so pixis is implying that this was something done by yelena like elena, yelena kind of you know maybe you know introduced some ideas in, into Aaron's brain which kind of changed him okay so you know yeah i was also thinking like why did Aaron suddenly change like when the in the flashback we also saw well like when El Yelena came into the island for the first time at that moment also Aaron was kind of you know like you know that good guy the good happy guy uh, not happy obviously <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> but uh, you know you guys know what I'm trying to say like he was that person uh, so then also like there's this whole situation with Sasha and all of them like talking in that railway and Aaron kind of blushing and everything like she was the same Aaron that we knew but then suddenly she changed so you're, you're saying that at that moment Yelena uh, like got her you know uh, got changed to Flosh and Flosh and Yelena had some other plan in their mind and like did they go to Eren and as, as like Fixis said that their houses were a little bit apart so that means Yelena and maybe Flosh as well kind of went and talked with Eren and uh, like kind of you know change him in a way and that's why like Aaron also changed his whole uh, thought process maybe Elena some, said something about you know uh, Zeke to Aaron 
and uh, you know try to win him to their side or something like that she did and that's why like you know uh, like obviously Zeke is a master manipulator so I'm sure like Zeke told Yelena like something and said that you know, like you go to like, you know the Paris Island and uh, make contact with Eren and tell Eren about the things that I'm going to say to you like just like uh, say those things to him so Yelena came here and did that thing he like she introduced those idea into Eren and Eren that's why like Eren kind of changed after that you know because obviously like the things that I'm sure like the things that Yelena said to Eren was on Zeke's command on like everything that Zeke told her to say he said it to Eren and Zeke being the master manipulator he knew how to manipulate Eren or something like that or how to make change Eren's heart change Eren's mind okay I really you know kind of I was going to like kind of skipping past this portion but this is extremely important information uh, I kind of noticed this now all right so okay something must have happened mystery <laughs> anyways so yeah guys so that was it that was this episode this was uh, attack on titan the final season episode number 11 so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or your opinions anything about this anime or anything in general i'll be sure to check them out but please no spoilers so yeah guys um i'll be back next week with another episode of attack on titan the final season so until then goodbye and have a nice day